Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you a handful of more do-it-yourself farmhouse style home decor. So today's first example is farmhouse animal napkin rings. So I saw a bunch of these from different brands, mainly Pottery Barn, Pier 1, and Crate and Barrel. There's a wide variety of different styles and different animals featured. But depending on where you buy them from, they can be pretty pricey. So I'm going to show you how you can make your own and really customize them to fit your style as well as your budget. So the first thing you're gonna need is an actual ring. You have a few options for this. You can either use a shower curtain ring, which I show you here from the Dollar Tree. You get a pack of 12 for a dollar, or you could simply recycle a paper towel or toilet paper roll. It'll give you the same shape and idea. If you use the paper towel or toilet paper roll, you're gonna have to cut this into little rings. Next, you're gonna need your figures. So I'm using the tubes. I use these for a bunch of different projects. If you've seen my other do-it-yourself videos, then you've already seen these before. Everything mentioned will be listed in the description box as well as discount codes. So I'm gonna use two for this. This is the Piglet and Bunnies set and the Farm Babies set. So whatever animals or figure you choose, you're going to glue this to your ring. Then give this time to dry and set. Now you're going to paint these. So I'm going to use the Heirloom White. This is Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover Spray Paint. This is basically like a bit of a creamy off-white color. And I'm going to spray paint these. It's up to you what color you decide to do. You could make these metallic. You could do different colors. You could do pastels. Whatever fits your decor and whatever you prefer. I thought the simple white was pretty easy to get away with with most decor and year-round. So here is what they look like when they are dry. The spray paint was a satin finish, so it is a bit more of a flatter finish. If you want to keep them glossy, that's also up to you. So for a couple dollars, this entire project is super cute and really easy to do. Just a really easy way to finish your table settings while giving that designer feel. Next up is another style napkin ring. This is wood and lace. So another inspo is from Pottery Barn. Here you can see they're charging about 26 plus tax and shipping if that applies to you for a set of four wooden napkin rings. That's pretty expensive for me. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how you can do it for a couple of dollars. The first thing you're gonna need are wooden napkin rings. So I picked these up. You can get them from a few places. Again, they're listed in the description box. Then all you're gonna do is take a piece of fabric. This is ribbon and you're simply going to place this around the center to give a little bit more detail. And it also makes it a little bit more vintage and feminine looking. You also of course have the option to leave the wood as is or paint or stain it. Another example would be burlap and jute. Here are a few more examples of a very natural napkin set. And here are my examples. So here's two that I'm gonna show you how you can do. Again, you're going to need the ring itself. So for one example, I used the wood. The other example, I used those plastic shower rings again. And you can just take some fabric or ribbon and place this around the ring like so. It just takes a couple of minutes and a couple of dollars to create all of these. I really like the natural look it gives and the subtle texture. Moving on, wood bead garland. So this is a really big trend right now for the farmhouse style decor lovers. This can be used for a bunch of different things around the home. I've seen these with a pretty big price tag, so I thought why not try it myself? First, you're gonna need the wood beads and some ribbon or twine. And depending on the size and length, you're going to string the beads along this. Then it's up to you how you wanna use it. I have a couple examples to share with you here. First would be a tie back for your curtains. So I recommend stringing the beads along then finishing up the edge with one of the plastic rings. You can see it has a loop on the other side. So when you wrap this around your curtain, it'll secure it in place. And the only thing you'll see are the beaded detail. You also could use it of course as a garland accent itself on a table or on a vase. And another great option is using it as a napkin ring as well. So just a couple of beads with a little tassel at the end and you're ready to go. So the last example I wanna show you today is wood and burlap frame. I had a bunch of these laying around the house from when we painted from another project. You can literally get these free from Home Depot. So I have a handful here. The size is up to you, depending on what you're going to use it for. Then I made a little ribbon burlap bow and added ribbon detail throughout. So I cut off some burlap and gave it a little bit of a border here, gluing them together to give detail but also holding the wood in place. Of course, any extra is up to you. You could add a clip or chalkboard. You could add more fabric, less fabric, completely up to you. You also could add detail to make it hang or to make it stand up like so. But I was able to make this entire thing with things that were either already around my house or free. <laughs> 
So I thought it was a really cute rustic farmhouse accent. Super easy to do and dirt cheap. Here's a bunch of ribbon examples you could use for any of these projects, including this frame. So you could use this for a bunch of things. Like I said, initials, a quote, a picture, an established date, like when you got married or bought a house, something that was important to you, etc. So you have a bunch of options that you could use this for, just like any other frame. So that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I would love to know which of these you're going to try for yourself, so comment that down below. Make sure you guys are still subscribed and notifications are turned on so you never miss a new video. As always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.